A moving talking humanoid designed specifically for children on the autism spectrum is being trialled for the first time in Australia. CSIRO and the University of New South Wales have brought their British designed robot down under for the pilot project and the results are already promising. Dr David Silvera Tall is the project lead and says social robotics could help improve the quality of life of children with autism. The robot was designed by the University of Hartford here in, in the UK and the, the idea, so there's a, a, few, a few considerations. It's a humanoid robot because it reassembles a human but it's not quite a human. It's a small robot about the size of a child and the face and the body are a simplified version of a human. So. It, it, it doesn't have the complex facial expressions, the eyelids, the eyebrows, etc. So there's less sensory overload w w when the kids interact with the robot. It facilitates the interaction with them, but it's also a robot that in a way is predictable and the behaviors are repetitive. So there's less expectations, less question marks when they interact with, with the robot. So they know what to expect in a way, so they, it makes the interaction easier. The immediate response is one of engagement and, and willing to interact with the robot. Uh, in the long term, we start seeing that kids that interact with, with, with robots for, for a while, and uh, either with this one or, or with another one with similar characteristics, they start improving their, their verbal communication, their participation, their um, social interaction, and. And, and some of this learning starts to transfer to human-to-human -human interaction, that it's the goal of the research at the end of the day. I'm particularly interested in what's socially assistive robotics, that it's using these robots applied in the health context, uh, which could be uh, you know, autism, dementia, uh, child rehabilitation, etc. Social re robotics in general as, uh, as a field could be also applied to to, to any any other context when, where people interact in a social in a social sense, so it could be in museums, could be in airports, uh, and a anything you can imagine. Our goal is definitely to improve human-to-human -human interaction. Uh, that's we, we we are using robots as tools to improve that interaction. I, in a health context, really, is to improve the health, or in, in autism, to improve, for example, social interaction. Uh, that's that's a goal. We're not working with robots to improve interaction with robots. I'm convinced that there's a lot of potential in using these kind of robots to improve the quality of life, to improve the health of children and adults. Uh, and support from the government, support from, from the public is definitely important for this.